obviously none of this stuff is going to be as high quality as official merchandise. I do own some official Formula One gear, like my Ferrari shirt that you've seen in a lot of my videos. And while I will agree that it was overpriced and way too expensive for what it is, at least the quality is there, right? The materials feel nice, they're breathable, the patches are all well done, there's no spelling errors, we'll get into that later. Everything is just, you know, really nice and made to a certain standard, whereas this, this stuff is not. So let's start with the hat. And it's pretty obvious it's the old F1 logo, but you can absolutely still order this. I got this with the rest of my gear just a few months ago. Uh, you'll notice the logo itself, not bad, but the print underneath looks terrible. This L is leaning over. The laurels are nice. The materials are nice. The curve to the brim that it came with is actually just perfect. I love the cardboard. It's nice and thick inside here in the brim. Or maybe that's plastic. It may not even be cardboard. I don't know. No, nah, it feels like cardboard. And then you've got this metal buckle, and I'm actually really impressed by this. It feels quite durable. I feel like this hat will last a while. And you don't see the style of buckle on a lot of hats, or at least I don't. I see more like, you know, flex fit or fitted or the snapbacks, you know, but I don't see a lot of this anymore. And this reminds me of the old F1 and NASCAR hats that my dad always used to keep in his cars, especially in his convertibles. Me, I use this all summer. This is a great hat. I had it in my laser. I tossed it in there and I just put it on whenever the sun would be shining through the glass tops or when I had the T-tops off and I just needed a little bit of protection for my eyes. Great hat, absolutely love it for the price. But again, you have to be comfortable wearing the old logo. Next up, we have this Golf Livery McLaren shirt. And I wore this one a fair bit because I like the colors. The material, ah, it leaves something to be desired. It looks like it should be more breathable than it is. It's soft, but you're really gonna sweat in this shirt. The blue and the orange look gorgeous. The logos are great, see? We've even got the golf logo on the sleeve. And we got the McLaren logo on the back across the shoulders. You know what, all of this, it's great. I loved it. For the price, I am happy with it. I, I don't have complaints about this shirt, but it's not high quality. It feels like if you've ever played rec sports, you know the kind of cheap custom printed jerseys a lot of teams get you know, from companies like Cast Iron, for example. It's a lot like that, it's almost plasticky. This next McLaren shirt that I got, I guess I got lucky. I thought I'd ordered the Ricardo one, but I actually ordered Lando Norris and I'm glad I did now that Danny's getting booted from the team. And this shirt I love. Material is soft like the other one, but it's actually more breathable. This is probably the highest quality out of all of the shirts that I ordered and it feels nice to wear. I wear this one actually to work all the time because it's a polo shirt, it's got a collar. Yeah, I have no complaints. You've got the signature on here. You know, you've got all the logos on the sleeves. You got that the Husky chocolate. And then on the back, this is also a nice touch. You got Norris 4. I've definitely become more of a Lando Norris fan this year, especially as he has continued to dominate Daniel and really come out of his shell and become more assertive. Big fan of the guy, so I'm happy to be wearing his shirt now, whereas before I was a little bit disappointed because I was a Danny Rick fan before, you know? I thought, oh, he's just not used to the car, but he had his chance. This shirt was great. I think it was also among one of the more expensive ones that I bought, but the quality was good. It was the closest to original merch quality out of everything that I ordered, but it definitely wasn't on the same tier. That said, still a very acceptable polo to wear. I would have no qualms wearing it in public. Next up, we have the Alfa Romeo shirt. This one feels like the exact same material as the blue and orange Golf McLaren shirt. So it's really not breathable, but this one, luckily, it's a polo. The material of the collar is just awful. It almost feels like something you'd find on a backpack. I don't love it, but since I got it folded down most of the time when I'm wearing it, no big deal. The printing on the shirt is fine. I haven't noticed any spelling errors on this one at least. On the back, you've got the Alfa Romeo F1 team. It's a good shirt. I wear it a fair bit. Also wear it to work because I have to wear collared shirts. Now we're coming up on Haas. So this Haas shirt is funny because I ordered a fair bit of merch, also some Haas merch, and of all of the Haas merch that I ordered, this was the only one that shipped. You get what you get. We got Jack and Jones, Mind Maze, Haas, Deutsche Vermogensberatung. One thing that I often forget about this shirt, it's for M. Schumacher. 
I was hoping for a Mick Schumacher shirt, but I got a M Schumacher. So there is spelling errors on this one. You don't notice this at first, right? You're going through everything. Oh, it all looks good. Nope. Uh, got good old MSC here, Mick Schumacher. Then, of course, we've got the back of the shirt, Pass, Pass Automation Inc. I don't wear this shirt very often, specifically because it's not colored. It's an okay shirt. The material on this one feels very much like the Golf McLaren shirt again. You know, it, it looks like it should be breathable, like it looks like it should be porous, but it just isn't. It's very soft, almost like silky, like, you know, it's cool to the touch at first, but you'll end up just heating up on a summer's day in this thing. You know what, it's soft. It's pleasant to touch, but feels like a cheap rec sports jersey. We have the Aston Martin shirt, and I wanted to love this shirt. Like, yes, it's just a t-shirt, but the material actually, surprisingly, is fine. Again, none of these are very breathable, but this one doesn't have that fake porousness to it. So it's nice to touch, it's soft. I'm looking it over at first, and oh, we got the Canadian flag, always nice. Always nice for a Canadian F1 fan here. And we got Stroll. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, don't love Lance Stroll, but he's fine. But then, Vettel. Vettel. It's like somebody said it with a terrible accent. Sebastian Vettel. And they made it with an, oh, how? You can look this stuff up. This is not acceptable. At least with the M Schumacher, it looked like they'd made a typo, right? It's just M Schumacher. They forgot an E, whatever. This is just straight up the wrong letter and E and O are not close to each other on the keyboard. Like they're not side by side. This is not okay. But aside from not being able to spell the name of one of the most famous F1 drivers ever, otherwise fine shirt. Got the Aston Martin Cognizant Formula One team logo large across the back. The Aston Martin logos on the shoulders. It's a nice shirt, except if anybody, anybody knows anything about F1, then they know that that name on your sleeve is incorrect. So I don't really know what to do. You can't really like roll it up. I almost forgot the Red Bull shirt. I was sitting down to do all of the editing on this. I'm going through my wish.com orders and I realized, oh crap, I got a Red Bull shirt. And I actually really like this one. This one is like a cotton. And you know what? Kind of hard to go wrong with cotton. You know, it's a little heavy, but nice for colder days. So it's a little bit on the warmer side, but Red Bull logo looks nice. There is one major caveat though. Boom. It's, it's an old one. Even though I ordered this this summer, it is Red Bull Infinity Racing, which they have not been since they lost their ties with Renault. Uh, Renault no longer makes their engines, as I'm sure you know. That's Red Bull Honda. So this is an old logo. You have to be comfortable with the old sponsors. That's one of the things with sports gear is that it becomes out of date really quickly. But for the price, this is actually a really nice polo shirt, good materials. Even the collar, it's nice. I wear it quite a bit. I am not I don't have a problem with it being the old logos personally, but I'm not a person who's really obsessed with brands. And also I don't really have a favorite team. I kind of like them all. I'm kind of rooting for them all. Just, you know, in whatever battles they're in, I'll pick a favorite out of, you know, Ferrari or Red Bull this season or Mercedes or Red Bull last season, who I'm hoping gets the championship. But also, yeah, it's not a nice, it's not a bad looking back. It's got nice logos here too. As you can see, I'm an Ambi Turner. Very happy with this one. Thank you for sticking around and watching me get dressed and undressed. Remember, none of this gear is a proper replacement for the real deal. Go out and buy real merch if you can't afford it. If you guys enjoy this, I might try to order some more merch in the future. The other thing I want to mention too, there's like no knockoff Ferrari merch, and I don't know what that's about. How did they make that happen? The cheapest Ferrari shirt I could find on Wish.com is $66, it's nuts. Anyway. Join my patron and thanks for watching Fiend with the F1 Never Ends.